Hello, my name is Carl. I'm 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and in this video, I'm just going to go in a little bit more detail about the, some of the modifications that I've made to the Czech radio, the RF10. So you've you may have seen in some previous videos me using this small man pack radio. Um, lovely it's a, a one watt fm radio um, <coughs> it's got its own built-in power built-in battery pack um, so if i just get this radio out i'll just show you i'm just going to show you how i made some modification to the battery pack um when, when i first got this radio it came with a little bit of charging i could operate the radio for a couple of hours and then the the charge you know discharged um, <coughs> then when I actually took off the battery I noticed it let me just get the battery off um, inside here the, the, there is actually a, a charging unit for this that that uh, is pretty rare to find um, so I was struggling to actually track one down um, but when I actually uh, took apart the battery pack and discovered that inside there was um, I think there was something like six uh, like D cells about the same size as D cells um, that were rechar rechargeable but because I wanted just to make some improvements to the radio that I decided to replace the the D cells in there with a lipo battery so um, I'll just take this apart and we'll have a look at the um, look at some of the changes I've made to inside the radio. You may find that with um, one or two of these military radios, the the original battery battery packs, the uh, the the batteries may be dud because it might be like 30, 40 years old. So uh, you may have to do some modifications to it to get it working. Um, so basically, inside here, uh, I've got a, a LiPo battery. Let me just get this battery out and I'll show you what I've done. So inside here, originally, inside there, um, this uh, plastic um, moulded uh, battery holder, um, it ran up both sides of here, I've only got one half in now, and the D-cells uh, fitted into there. So basically I took all that out, cut down this um, th this battery holder here and I actually found a battery. <clears throat> I measured the internal dimensions of the battery compartment and I found a battery, I think it's 7.4 7 volts. So I found a battery that was the, it was the right power supply um, uh, and it basically fits in like an absolute dream. I cut this down so that actually the battery just slides in next to that plastic um, original battery holder so this would sit in nice and neatly. Uh, can I do it live on video? I doubt it but um, there we go. So that slides in quite nicely now um, and then I'm just using the um, uh, eventually going to use power poles on here so that when I come to charge the battery up, pull the battery out, take the power poles apart, plug it into my uh, LiPo battery charger and then uh, put it back in, uh, happy days. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if you can see that on this, uh, these two pins here, one there and one there, um, they fit into uh, there and there. And that's how, it, that's how the power gets from the, uh, the battery um, up through these terminals <clears throat> up into the radio there so so basically um, <clears throat> rather than trying to uh, track down a charger for that or try to find replacement batteries and a charger I decided to take all that apart and just so happened to find the LiPo battery that fits in and it, uh, it works wonderfully as well so um, <clears throat> next job for this is to replace these uh, terminal blocks uh, with um, uh, Anderson power poles. 
so that was it for now um new battery happy days uh, and uh, look forward to the next one bye for now